Hi everybody, it's Derek with Deals with Derek and the Brew, and happy FedEx 23 on Instagram. Hope you guys are all having a great week, enjoying the day. Today, this morning, went for a walk, it was great, not real breezy, not too cold. Just got back from a walk and the wind picked up, and I think we're supposed to get rain and snow. I don't know. I don't think it's as April snow showers bring Mayflowers, but for some reason here in the Midwest, that's what it wants you to do. Uh, today I wanted to talk about hope and hope as in you have purpose, not just like hope to survive, hope to live, but the reasons for hope. And I want to use Jeremiah 29 11 that says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for hope and future. So that means he's already got it taken care of. No matter what storm or struggle you're in, he's got the path for you to help out. He will bring somebody into your life that can encourage you, bring you through the moments so that you will survive. He doesn't throw you into fire and like, go, get out. No, 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 no. When he sends you somewhere, he doesn't send you out to dry out and lose hope. He sends you there for purpose, and he gives you the right people, the right supplies to make it through the fire or whatever you're in. The other passage I have for you is, why does it keep, I'm using a new note thing and it keeps resetting. And why, I don't know. Uh, Hebrews 6.19, I didn't cue it today, so we're going to take a few minutes to get there. Uh, Luke, Acts. Romans, Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Colossians, Hebrews. Here we go. Hebrews 6. Uh, I thought I was there. Here we go. 6. Where are we at? 18. 19. We have... We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain. So when it says a secure hope, I live by the water, so I'm gonna use boating terms. It's not like getting a cheesy, cheap, 10 pound anchor for shallow waters. No, no, no. God provides you with a thousand pound anchor that's a high quality metal that won't rust and break away. And, that, and it continues to stay rust-free as long as we dig into him and talk to like-minded Christian folk that can help encourage us and keep our anchor strong. When we do that, we will have the hope to stand on our own two feet, no matter the circumstances, no matter the hurricane storm that comes or the tornado that comes. When you have that strong, secure anchor that I just read about, um, you will make it through. Another verse I have for today, I got to cue my notes to the top of my list. It's not there. So I scroll all the way to the bottom. Is Hebrews 11, 1. Same book, different verse. Should have kept the cue. Nope, that's too easy. Excuse me while I flip through my Bible. Here we go, Hebrews. Oh, where'd it go? I want to go to Jesus. Good luck, but I don't need to go there. Uh, Hebrews. It's not that I'm jumbled. I just like doing it live and to show you that I'm literally going through my Bible. Now, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we don't see. I'm going to continue reading. This is what the ancients were commanded for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made of what was visible. God created it so that we can do it. He didn't like use already, like when you go to the beach and you're like, oh, I'm going to make a sandcastle and he makes that. No, 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 no. God created the sand that we play in. God created the dirt that we walk on. God created the trees that help clean the air that we get to breathe they have purpose and when i talk about hope that you not lose it you have a purpose 
I use sports analogies because I help in sports and I'm gonna use a baseball player. Every part of their body is needed to play baseball. All five fingers are needed to not only throw the ball to the infield after catching it, but they're all needed as well to use a glove to then close the glove and catch it. Or your feet, all toes are needed to help you run and stay balanced while you're running. The foot helps you run. The shin helps you run. The leg, the knee, your hips. You know, all your body parts are needed to do that. So any, whatever spot you are needed for, do that to the fullest. Whether you are the encourager that's needed for people to make it another day, be that encourager to the fullest. Whether you're the one that's an encyclopedia and knows everything about whatever you're in, be that to the fullest. Continue to study, continue to increase your knowledge so that you can be the reference per guide to whatever season you're in. I used to be that at a place I helped that. I didn't realize it, but they said, no, we counted on you because you knew all the stats. I was the stat guy. Didn't realize it because it came second nature to me. I had a purpose. And today, my purpose is different. My purpose today in this season is to encourage you guys and give you hope and knowledge to let you understand how the Bible is a great instruction manual and source to dig into, to give you hope, to give you courage, to give you peace, to give you wisdom, to give you joy. That's my season that I'm in. And I want you, if you got negative thoughts growing through your head, stop them and say, God, or Satan, I have purpose. I am not worthless. I am not useless. I am needed for this season. And in your time of prayer, maybe God will give you your purpose. Or as you're going throughout your day, you'll find what comes easy to you. Whether that's, oh, I know this stat off the top of my head. You may be the knowledgeable guy. Or you may be the guy with muscles and help people lift things and move things for people who can't. Maybe you're that guy. Maybe you're the one that sends a friendly hello to somebody and they were having a rough day. They were at their last straw. They were ready just to call it quits. And because of the encouraging words that you give to the pe your, that person, they commit to being alive another day. Who knows what your actions and whatever skill set of life you have, it may be. And that's what I want to encourage you guys with today. Is don't lose hope and feel worthless or hopeless because you are needed in this time. You are born and raised for this season. And you body part, if you try like a finger, if it tries to be the head, it ain't gonna work. If your eyes try and be the feet, it ain't gonna work. If your arm tries to be a foot, might work, but not to the fullest. That's a substitute, but it's still gonna work if it's needed. For some people, their feet are amputated. So they use technology that God has provided to then walk to their fullest. Or sometimes in the circus, you have people and their job is to be the stunt guy that walks on their hands. Their hands are used to walk on. So however you are set up, you are set up, I'm going into computer terms, different buttons are set to help you work faster and that's what i'm saying you all the pieces of your body are created for you to live to the fullest to live and encourage and give hope and give life to the people around you your world is the people that you come in contact with every day and how you interact with them and speak to them the bible says that the tongue is a two-edged sword. It can bring life and growth or death. And my pastor talked, I thought, talked about it this way. Are you spreading fertilizer to help plants grow when you speak? Or are you spreading poison to kill and damage the things around you? And I hope that people are giving you words of encouragement and showing love and caring thoughts to you so that they are feeding you fertilizer to them want to live another day. You're not being fed poison that you are worthless and you are hopeless and you are nothing. Because no, you are important. You have been born for this season of life, for this time, to encourage the people around you, to give hope to the people around you, 
to, like I said, be the stack guy for somebody who does a job and they need inventory. Maybe you're the inventory guy and you can do numbers off the top of your head that people need a calculator for, but you can do the math in your head. That's a job that's needed. Or in sports, people need to know the stats for sports and maybe you have them memorized or hockey or soccer or football or even some of the fun sports like volleyball or lacrosse or field hockey. Those are all sports and they need somebody who has the knowledge and the quick response time to help them in that time. Or they also need people to encourage them to keep going. Like, oh, you missed that goal, that's okay. Look at what you did and correct yourself and let's record the video so we can look back and do the stats and see where you missed a little bit. That's what your job is, or even life. Sometimes you can help encourage somebody and help them walk through a season because life can get hard sometimes. And the right people around you will give help and give you the knowledge and the wisdom to understand what's going on and where you're at and that it's okay to be in that season, but to don't let it overwhelm you. There's a story in the New Testament where the disciples and Jesus are on a boat and there's a storm going on and the disciples are freaking out and they wake Jesus up and go, how can you sleep in this storm? And he's like, I got this. And he gets up and he speaks to the storm and says, peace. And the winds calm down, the waves calm down, and there's peace to the storm. And that's what I pray that you will have people come alongside you. Maybe you're the one that is supposed to have the wisdom to call peace to their storm and to give them a revelation or wisdom and open their eyes or take in photo, photo films or in Instagram or social media to take that filter where all they see is a storm, to take that filter out of their eyes so that they can see the light that is all around them. To help, and maybe you're that person, maybe you're the light post or the lighthouse that helps shine to help direct people back to where they need to be. Maybe that's your purpose today. And that's what I talk about. And it comes with hope. That's what I'm giving you hope for, is that you have purpose, you have a need. There's so many different needs, just like there's so many different parts of your body and different bones. All those are needed, as well as you. No matter what your spot is in this world, you are needed. Without you, it'd be like putting a puzzle together and you're missing two pieces and the puzzle's like all messed up because they created the amazing masterpiece puzzle that you just put together. You are needed, no matter what your job, your response, your piece of the puzzle is, you are special in exactly how you are created to do. May you be, may today bring hope and encouragement and peace to you and blessings to you in Jesus' name. And again, I don't want to end the day without a chance for you to accept Christ so that you can understand the wisdom that I just spoke to you guys. It's as simple as this. Lord Jesus, I thank you for today. I thank you that you love me and care for me and will bring people along to help me in the season that I'm in. I ask and apologize for the sins I have done, the wrong things I have said, the actions that I've done that were wrong. I ask that you would come into my heart, you would forgive me, you would clean me out, you would go into the closet that I store all the crap that I don't want people to see, you would even clean that part of my heart out and make me fresh, new, clean. But now that I'm clean, I thank you for that. And I ask that you would bring people alongside of me to show me how to use the right manual that you have set for me, to show me how to use this set of, this setup that you have for me, that you have made for me. Thank you for all that you're going to do in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys, have a great day. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and share to then encourage somebody else who's going through a hard time in this season. Have a blessed day. Bye.